Being active is a good thing. We're made for work. We're made to stay productive and do things that give us a sense of making a difference and being hard at work in our world. The Bible says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. At the same time though, we need rest. We need to be willing to stop from our labor. We need to be willing to step back from activity and take times of rest. Something as simple as sleep, which we don't completely understand, is vital for having the energy and the restoration that we need to live lives that really do have an impact. There is none of the Ten Commandments that require as much of God's attention as number four, which deals with the Sabbath. Turns out that God is very tuned in to our need for rest. He tells us from the beginning, before there was ever the fall or the law, that man was made to work six days and on the seventh, take a day of holy rest. God himself did that after six days of creation. He stopped and became still. I believe our work really honors God, but it may be that our rest honors him even more. Because when we rest, we give ourselves the clear reminder that all the work ultimately belongs to God. And if anything is going to be accomplished, it will be at His hand. Sabbath is something that you can put into place in your life. Choose a day every week that you set aside anything that feels like work. It will be tough for you because so many of us are driven by performance and productivity. But if you learn to do it, you'll find that it's like pulling back this, this, the bow, the string of a bow. It lets the arrow fly. It allows you to be more productive in those days that you do work. In addition, I am a big proponent of personal retreat. Every now and then, you need to step back from your life. Take a time out. Go somewhere for several days to be alone with God. It's wonderfully helpful to be able to scan the horizon and to think about where you've been, where you're headed, and where you are right now. Making those adjustments in direction that can yield huge impact and huge return. Don't get so caught up in what other people expect of you or what you think you must get done. To avoid this, this command of God to take time for rest, take time for reflection. It's that back and forth, engaging and disengaging, that keeps life interesting and worthwhile. Whatever you do to be productive and to make a difference, don't forget to take time for rest. You'll be so glad you did.